Trump was that day. Whoever animated that, they're definitely raiding your place of residence and stealing your computer. And today we got a controversial one. What if Donald Trump got, you know? This is gonna be talking about the hypothetical if um, bro who, you know, shot at him actually had aim. That's what I'm saying. We need to bring John Wilkes Booth back, bro. Greatest shooter of all time. That did not miss. What I think would happen? Okay, he gets blicked. I think the first thing that's gonna happen is definitely riots. For show sure riots. Cause Trump has some writers, bro. Trump has hitting reverse cowgirl on his shit and i know some of them are about are down to die by that and a lot of them on the right side have guns so i'm thinking riots first but let's see this video is not getting monetized july 13th 2024 donald trump escaped an attempt on his life Talk he to managed me. to turn his head at just the right angle so that a bullet shot in his direction grazed his ear rather than hitting him in how do you graze an ear shot, bro? Like, bro, ears are, how do you miss this shit? How do you, like, I oh, don't know, your aim gotta be ass for you to miss that, bro. I'm not gonna cap. In the head. But what would happen if he didn't turn his head? Okay. What if Donald Trump was assassinated that day? Whoever animated that, they're definitely um, raiding your house of place of residence and stealing your computer. I'm not gonna Who lie. Who would replace him? And could this lead to an American civil war? In this video, we're- Yo-Yo's aim is still worse. You know what? I'm not mad at that. We're going to go through multiple scenarios on Talk what would happen if Donald Trump got assassinated. The first one we'll look at is if he actually got shot on July 13th. Now, I need to be clear that at the time of this recording, the assassination attempt is still being investigated. So some details may change, but what okay. we do know is that the shooter came incredibly close. Another thing that I want to make clear is that I don't wish ill will toward anyone. If you're new to the channel, you should know that we often look at news stories and give our hypothetical take on it. Okay. That's all that this is. In Butler, Pennsylvania, on July 13th, the assassin shot from 140 meters away. Trump had just turned his head a couple of centimeters. If he hadn't have done this, it's very likely that he would have been killed by the bullet. That's crazy. That's insane. Instead, the shot grazed his ear. If he hadn't been so lucky, we'd be looking at a completely different world today. Donald Trump would be dead. So what would happen next? One of the most important things that would need to be figured out would be who would take the mantle of the Republican presidential nominee? Okay. It all depends on when this happens. The answer... The guy that shot him was Republican, by the way. That's good. That's good. I remember when that shit happened. I remember when that shit happened. I was praying to God that the shooter wasn't black, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate when shit goes down and the person happens to be black and then I'm just catching strays for the next week, bro. Holy, bro. When that news came out, I was, you know, rest in peace to bro. Because I they packed him up. Well, not rest in peace. Eh, whatever. Uh, only person I say rest in peace to is the dude who was in the crowd who died, unfortunately. That's really sad. But, like, that nigga was black? It would have been strays. It would have been, been nothing but strays, bro. Uh, no pun intended. It can change if it were before the Republican National Convention or after. So in the case of the July 13th assassination attempt, things would get a little more complicated since this event Basketball people don't miss. That is crazy. Event happened right before the Republican National Convention. God damn, what is that on his fucking top, bro? Oh my God. Yo, oh my God, bro. Jeez. Sorry. Since this event happened right before the Republican National Convention, which was set. He got that yo-yo trend. Do not disrespect me, boy. For July 15th, the delegates involved in selecting the Republican presidential nominee would have to move incredibly fast. With little time in between the shooting and the convention. I'm going to um, speed this up. I ain't going to lie. The nominee would likely be decided on the convention floor that night. It would be incredibly messy and frantic. There'd be backroom okay. deals and public speeches from the hopeful nominees. Now, since Trump had no strong opposition during the primaries, almost everyone could be considered. 
it would be like going back to square one. Even people who didn't run in the primaries could be nominated. Oh yeah, she's fucking did that. Oh fuck. This would be a night full of bids for power, and whoever's left standing would be the Republican nominee. The nominee, then right? For president. Now there are some other <clears throat> scenarios that we'll get into in a bit, but what might happen outside of politics? Well, the answer to that is a lot more unknown and potentially terrifying. Donald Trump was seen yelling "fight" after he got shot, and there's a good chance his supporters would do just that. Yeah, definitely. Like the uh, Trump dick riders, like yeah, no, they're definitely rioting, bro. Oh God. Now we're not saying everyone, but the extreme fringe of his base might possibly engage. Most definitely. Just look what happened on January 6th, 2021. That's what I'm saying. And I don't think, and we're going off of facts here. We're going off of facts here. I don't think the immediate response to that would be crazy. Like, I don't think the police are going to care that much because, like, they did not give a fuck during this shit. Trump supporters stormed the United States Capitol building. This was after their emotions were stoked by talk about a stolen election, a claim that was proven to be false. So, what would happen if the leader crazy. was assassinated? Well, they'd likely be looking for someone to blame, potentially a group of people or the opposing party. Donald Trump has incredibly passionate supporters, more passionate than what we've seen from almost any other political figure in the past. I could agree There's with a that. Chance there could be outbursts of violence and civil unrest. Hopefully most this definitely. Would be contained to small pockets of the country and not become a full-on civil war. I don't think it's becoming a full civil war, though. I, I don't. I do think um, it's, it's a loud minority for sure. With Biden still being president and commander in chief, he's in control of the military. If things got out of hand, hopefully they'd be able to put a stop to it. And absolutely not. That that fucking that fucking delirious ass nigga. Huh? Oh, they're they're rioting. I'll just press the nuke button. Wait, 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 wait don't do that. It's just in Texas. Huh? Oklahoma. Send the troops over there. Like, bro, that nigga's not doing shit, bro. Hopefully no bigger militias would form either. Now, even without any violence, Trump would be idolized even more than he is today. Supporters would make him a martyr. And if some people on the left were happy that this happened, this would create an even bigger political divide across the country. The new Republican nominee would certainly use this as fuel to energize voters. Most turning definitely. Turning him or her into an even stronger candidate. And more Trump supporters might be inspired to vote in the election now, even without him in the race. But what if Trump wasn't dead, but incapacitated? Well, technically the rules and laws that are in place would still apply, but there could be more nuance. If there's a chance Trump comes Talk back to me. he's healthy, then the party would likely debate whether or not he could continue as the nominee. They'd also consider if he'd be in good enough shape to be sworn in if he potentially... If Biden can be the president, I don't think that that argument has a lot of validity. He became president. Now, the story is a little bit different if the assassination attempt happened after the RNC on July 15th. Donald Trump would be elected as their nominee, so what would happen if he were to die before the election? Okay. Well, you might think that his running mate would be automatically elevated, so his current choice for vice president, J.D. Vance, would become the presidential nominee. But... That's not the case. The nominee for president would still be voted upon by the Republican Party. They'd All right. To square one and reconvene the national convention, or they might just select a new candidate. There's a good chance that Trump's running mate would become the presidential nominee, but it's not a guarantee. Other party members might want to get into the mix. Now, the same rules would apply if Trump won the election on November 5th. That would make him the president-elect until Inauguration Day on January 20th. If okay. If he die between those dates, the vice president-elect doesn't automatically become president. Since Trump wouldn't officially be sworn in, the 25th Amendment, which allows the vice president to become president if the current one dies, wouldn't be applicable. Now, this got me thinking, could anything like this potentially delay the election? Well, technically it could, but it's incredibly unlikely. The election mm -hmm. date is set by federal law, and it's November 5th. In order for this to change, it would need to be voted on in the House of Representatives and in the Senate. The president would need to sign off as well. But this can only happen if both parties are in agreement, which seems unlikely. Especially Never fucking happens. Divide gripping the United States. Also, this would only delay the election by a couple of weeks. As the Constitution states, a president needs to be sworn in by January 20th of the following year. Failing that, there would be no president and things could get really ugly. Now, this is how the election would be handled, which boils down to a lot of bureaucracy and systems we already have in place. What happens next could be extreme civil unrest, violence, anger, a potential civil war. It's safe to say this would be a scary time for America for a number of reasons.
On the other hand, maybe a violent act like this might inspire Americans to put down their weapons and... <laughs> Fuck out of here! It, this video is over-exaggerated like shit, but put down the weapons? Hell nah. Hell nah. Come together. But considering the political division, that seems unlikely. Civil War... If Civil War happened, I'm finna fake Republican my ass off. <laughs> No cap, no cap. I am politically more left than right, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. If them niggas is popping off, if them niggas is popping off, I might, I might, I might buy a red hat, bro. I don't want to get shot, bro. Them niggas got way more guns than us. Them niggas got way more guns. I might, I might go ahead and I might, I might toss the hat on. No cap, no cap. If it's, if it's Republicans versus liberals. Or Demo Republicans versus Democrats. And if they're going weapon for weapon, I'm not going to cap. <laughs> I'm not going to cap. <laughs> I might no longer support a bullshit, bro. I don't want to die for that shit. What the hell? Oh, man. Trump VP said his grandma had 19 guns in the crib. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a hat, bro. Give me the hat, bro. Give me the hat, bro. No cap. This is not a fun hypothetical scenario. Regardless of where you stand. I don't think no civil war happening, though. I don't. Most people are pussy, bro. I, I don't. I don't think. I think of the percentage of people who own guns, the percentage of people who would actually use said gun is very low. I see gun. I see big guns in the way I see Ford F-150s. It's like you're not actually using that shit. You work IT. Why do you have a Ford F-150? You know what I'm saying? And on the political spectrum, it would be a scary time for Americans and for people around the world. Let's just hope this assassination attempt doesn't lead to any further violent acts. I know I don't want to end up in a world. Chief keep using his chance to blow New Jersey up. That's funny. Three. But that sounds like a story for another. What if? That game theory ass outro. Okay, this was kind of exaggerated. I thought it was gonna be, it was a cool video though. It was still cool hypothetical. But hey man, if you guys like my reactions to that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.